Hello everyone, today we will talk about the footage and photos taken for animal rights movement and I want to say that this video is not recommended for small children or people who are suffering from severe psychological trauma. Almost every animal rights action showing graphic material, but do you know what it's coming from? We show in public this disturbing footage to illustrate what we mean when we say in animal agriculture, wild as hell. But first of all, this footage needs to be taken. And today we will speak about who is taking photos and videos, how and what kind of footage exists in the animal rights movement. So let's start with a simple question. What we can see on this footage and photography? Generally, in animal rights movement, footage can be divided into groups like first, murder of animals, often mass murder that's happening in animal agriculture. Second, sexual abuse of male and female individuals. It can be really any kind of animal from cows, sheep and pigs to even fish and bees. Third, children animal abuse, often in dairy and poultry industry. Fourth, bestiality that also taken place in these crime hiding facilities. That were only general groups of abuse happening to animals. I also want to mention that not only animal rights organizations, but also animal welfare organizations taking footage of animal abuse. But don't forget the treatment of animals, it's not what we're trying to improve. The idea of use of animals is wrong itself. This footage is showing horrific things happening to animals and people doing this with no doubt because animals are objectified. They are no longer seen as individuals. Our aim is to show how ridiculous it is and scary when people are considered as dominant over other species. Before we get to know animal welfare and animal rights organizations that take in footage, I want to draw your attention to three platforms, basically archives of photos and videos of different kinds of animal abuse. The first platform is We Animals. This is federally incorporated non-profit media group taking actions together with other animal rights groups, taking videos and photos and teach other activists how to do this. On their website you can find high quality photography on completely different topics like farming, hunting, 
when animals suffering from bushfires and hurricanes, animals used in entertainment, animals used for science, and also you can find their wildlife imagery, sanctuaries, and animal rights actions. The second platform is Open Rescue Worldwide Repository that contains footage from five animal rights organizations Animal Liberation Victoria, Direct Action Everywhere, German Tierretter.de, Swedish-based Toma Burra or Empty Cages, Verein gegen Tierfabriken from Austria, and Animal Rights Netherlands and Belgium. Open Rescues is a form of non-violent direct action where activists enter the farm or other facility, film the conditions and rescue animals. It's open because activists don't hide their identities from the public. The third platform that I want to introduce is Aussie Farms. And you're probably already familiar with its footage from Dominion. And this is Australian-based organization having actually a really wide range of photos and videos on their website starting from farming and abuse and entertainment also pet industry, hunting and using animals in scientific research Aussie Farms were the first who took footage of what's happening inside of carbon dioxide gas chambers that used as humane method of killing pigs in slaughterhouses all over the world. Now let us move to the animal welfare organizations who are taking footage and photos. So the first one is animal equality, who are exposing cruel and abusive treatment of animals in industrial animal agriculture. They exposed more than 700 factory farms and slaughterhouses across 13 countries. They were first who infiltrated slaughterhouses in Spain in 2008 and first ever who exposed egg industry in Mexico and Brazil. Their methods are underwater filming, for example, to show brutal killing of tuna, live stream from hidden cameras in the internet, drone use to also show devastating environmental effect of animal agriculture and they are pioneers of using 360 degrees cameras to further use in virtual reality that makes it easy to put yourself in the victim position. The next animal welfare organization is Mercy for Animals. Although their website says they are animal rights organization, their description says that they are working together with major companies to implement animal protection policies. Nevertheless, they have lots of footage. Their methods include undercover investigations with the help of hidden cameras and drone filming. The next organization is PETA, People for Ethical Treatment of Animals. They are focusing on animal abuse happening in entertainment, wildlife trade, zoos, circuses and many more. For example, they expose crocodile farms, fur and bull industry, camels used as transport, Chinese medicine, elephants used in tourism, bullfighting. Now let us talk about the animal rights organizations. And first one is the Direct Action Everywhere. On their website they say that Dixie rescuing animals in captivity and exposing violence behind the closed doors. Basically, they are focusing on animal agriculture and using mass actions such farm occupations and open rescues methods. It is very important for them to tell the story of rescued animals, showing their lives, their families, do not depersonalize living creatures that are suffering in farming facilities. The second animal rights organization is Meet the Victims and they are conducting open rescues with a clear message of disobeying unjust laws together to abolish animal exploitation. Participants are ready to be charged and arrested. Their methods are drone use and undercover footage inside of facilities. 
So far, MTV has exposed farming facilities in Ireland, UK, Australia, Canada and Netherlands. Another organization is Surge Activism, that is grassroots non-profit animal rights organization based in UK and determined to create a world where compassion to non-human animals is a norm. They aim to spread awareness using campaigns, educational programs and investigative work. One of their campaigns, Dismantle Dairy, shown bestiality on dairy farms catched by the hidden cameras. They also expose local farms that people usually oppose to massive industrial farming as something better. As the end point of this topic, I would like to draw your attention to the problems and issues that um, animal rights movement facing obtaining the footage. DXC has divided it into several groups. The first group is legal. Many countries introduce AGCAG laws that forbid filming inside of factory facilities without consent their owner that is targeting whistleblowers of animal rights. Second group is financial. Equipment and lawsuits cost a lot that makes it hard for small animal rights groups to obtain the footage, but still possible for the bigger organizations. And the third group is ethical. Sometimes activists need to participate in horrific things happening on the farms to obtain the footage that is questionable and makes a psychological damage to investigators. So today we discussed many ways to obtain the footage and photography in animal rights movement and also organizations working on it. Footage and photography is a powerful mechanism to visualize and expose the truth about animals seen and used as objects. I hope this video was helpful. Please be active, brave and smart and use the knowledge wisely. See you next time.